Ontario, Canada. This was the home of the former maximum security prison, known as the Kingston Penitentiary. With the ability to house hundreds of Canada's worst, meanest, and deadliest inmates, the Kingston Penitentiary was arguably the most secure and strictest prison in the entire country. Construction began in 1833, and the prison officially opening on June 1st, 1835. It was one of the oldest prisons still in use at the time of its closure on September 30th, 2000. Questions arise all throughout the penitentiary story, such as why was the Millhaven Institution initially built to replace it? Why was the prison shut down to begin with? How such high security facility allow for many prison riots that resulted in multiple injuries? How were more than 25 prisoners able to escape? Nearly all these questions lack answers. Was something seriously wrong with the Kingston Penitentiary? August 14th, 1954. A two-hour riot breaks out in prison. The disturbance apparently began during a morning sports game. A guard was viciously attacked by inmates, and the situation escalated with buildings being set on fire in the yard. The prison's guards were not able to contain the situation alone, calling a group of RCMP officers and more than 150 Canadian Army troops to help end the conflict. Damage is estimated about $2 million, with 50 ringleaders being placed in solitary confinement. This draws questions towards the security of them this maximum security prison actually had. How come the prison wasn't equipped to deal with an average riot? April 14, 1971, possibly the worst riot in Kingston Penitentiary's entire lifetime started, lasting a total of four days. Two inmates were killed and nearly the whole prison was destroyed. Six guards were held hostage by inmates. What happened to them is unknown during their time in captivity. After the incident, security measures were substantially increased and the prison reform began. The same year, an inquiry to the riot, chaired by the Justice J.W. Swackhammer, reported they had already noted a number of causes in the Kingston's failure. The H facilities, overcrowding, the shortest of professional staff, the program had been substantially curtailed, the confinements of the, in the institution of a number of people who did not require maximum security confinement, too much time spent in the cells, lack of acquiet channels to deal with the compliance and the lack of staff which resulted in the breakdown of the established procedures to deal with an inmate's request. The polarization between the inmates and the custodial staff, between the custodial staff and the professional staff, led to the destruction of the program and deterioration in the life of the institution. September 10th, 1923, inmate Norman Red Ryan devised a plan to escape with a group of inmates. They set a small shed on fire to serve as a distraction and then utilized the ladder to breach the perimeter by going over a wall. The gang broke into a car garage in Markham Village, stealing a vehicle and used it to leave the city. Was life in the Kingston Penitentiary so bad that breaking out was necessary for survival? The state in which the prisoners were living must have been awful. Escaping the penitentiary is one thing, but take the story of Ty Khan for example. Ty Khan escaped from the prison in 1999, and a few weeks later, committed suicide while surrounded by police during a phone call to a CBC producer. Why would he be calling a television producer? Could he have been trying to get the word out about how proclaimed horrible the Kingston Penitentiary was? The Kingston Penitentiary was succeeded by the Milhaven Institution on September 30th, 2013, with many of the inmates being transferred to the new facility. Throughout its lifetime, something was definitely odd within the walls of the Kingston Penitentiary. Could it have been the unfit staff, the overly aggressive inmates, or was it simply the design of the facilities? 